Uncle Ron. Wow! What a surprise! Hi Samir. How are you? Come and sit here. I am so happy to see you after such a long time. How have you been? To be frank, not so good. What happened? Is everything alright? Far from being alright. My son has gone astray. But how can that be? I met him just a month ago. He looked alright to me. He is more like a friend to me than cousin. I know Samir. You two have been best of friends since your childhood. But believe me, Jay has changed. What? But why do you say so? Please fill me up. Many reasons. First of all, his grades have been on decline for a long time. You know how talented Jay has been throughout. But can you believe I was called by the principal for his bad grades? It's indeed surprising. I have known him for years. But just the grades do not prove that he has gone astray. Sometimes excess stress can also cause bad performances. It is not just grades. He has been drinking heavily since a couple of months, and when any of our family members even talk about it, he flares into rage. What? I would never have believed this if this was not you. I know. I have come here for your help. You two have been so close to each other since childhood. Could you please talk with him? Neither I nor his mother can even talk to him. I am not sure if it would do any good. But I will surely give it a try. Thank you so much Samir. Such a relief. No problem uncle. But before I talk to him, there is something I need to ask you. Sure, whatever you need to know just ask me. Actually it is a personal matter and very awkward to ask. But many a times, such sudden changes in children have a deep rooted cause behind them. It takes time to have such drastic change in nature and conduct. Was everything okay before Jay changed? I mean at home, was everything alright? Well, everything appeared normal to me, at least. I was out of home most of the time for business and your Aunt Bella was busy in her job. You know how corporate sector is. No time for family. Hmm. <laughs> I figured so. Okay uncle, I will see what I can do. Don't worry. Thanks again Samir. You are my only hope now. Okay I must leave now. I have a meeting to attend. Samir. If you can save him, I will be ever indebted to you. Please don't say that uncle. I will surely try my best. Don't worry. There must be some reason for Jay's changed behavior. I must find out. Okay I will visit his college tomorrow. I have some friends there. Maybe they could help. Reach Jay's college. Let's see what I can find. I must talk to some of his classmates at first to know their views about Jay. It would help me find the truth. But I can't see anyone. Okay, I will just sit there and wait. Excuse me. I want to meet someone from the first year. Could you please tell me where to go? I am a first year student. How may I help you? Hi, I am Samir. I am Jay's cousin. Nice to meet you. I am Ben. Nice to meet you too, Ben. Would you mind if we go somewhere else? It's not good to sit and talk in the corridors. Sure. Let's go to the college canteen. Ben, I have something to ask regarding my cousin Jay. I am very much worried about him. Recently a completely changed version of Jay is seen by us. A version who is completely contradictory to his original self. Could you tell me something about it? You are his classmate. Could you provide me any clues of what's going on with him? Jay is one of our very close friends. We have a study group of our own, and we often discuss and study together. But off late, we all have noticed some changes in Jay. What sort of changes? Tell me more please. Jay has always been the most enthusiastic person of our group. But recently everyone could see that he remained aloof. Even when we all approached him, he remained isolated and avoided our company. We tried to talk with him but he discarded. And he is even absent from college regularly. He bunks classes now. It is shocking to see a boy like Jay turn into something completely different from his character. I see. Could you tell me where to find him now? Normally he is found on the riverside where he sits alone and sometimes even drinks. 
He rebukes and abuses anyone who approach him. So we too have stopped trying. I understand. Don't worry Ben. I will do my best to see you all get your old pal back. Thanks for your help. Welcome. I really want Jay to be back to his normal self again. Thanks again Ben. We'll see you. Now I must go and find Jay. Let's see what Jay is up to. Samir? What are you doing here? Hello Jay. How have you been? I have come to see you. See me? What am I? A zoo animal? Who sent you here? No no. Please don't misunderstand me. I have not seen you around since days. I remember how fun those days were when we two used to hang out often. I met Uncle Ron the other day and so I thought I would meet you too. Now I understand. Dad sent you to me. At first he sent my friends to me and now you. I do not want to talk to anyone. Go away! You are misunderstanding me brother. I have just come here to talk to you. Can't you understand? I said go away. I can't believe it was Jay. But I won't give up. My master says that I must stop my friend from going astray. He is not in the senses. Whatever he speaks or does is not in his control. I must not be angry for his behavior. A sick person is to be treated, not despised. Jay's behavior was shocking. Deep inside, there must be something going on in his mind. I should talk to his principal and see what I can know. Hello sir. Thanks for your time. Hello Mr. Samir, please take a seat. Sir, my apologies for taking some time from your busy schedule. Actually the condition of Jay is such that I don't know what to do. So I have come to you. I understand. Even I am very much concerned with Jay. He used to be the top scorer of our college. He scored record marks in the last semester. But now, things have changed for worse. It's such a pity. I know my cousin. I have known him for years. I know something is wrong. But I just don't know how to fix it. A few months back, I got a complaint of C that he was not performing well. I called him. After talking to him, it was clear that he was losing the motivation to study. Maybe his home environment is not so good. Why do you think so, sir? I tried my best so that a talented boy like Jay remains on the right track and doesn't lose his focus. In fact, I called his parents here. But they started arguing in my office itself. They assured me that they would take care of Jay. But it seems it hasn't yet worked out well. Now I understand. The problem lies at home. Thank you sir. It was very helpful to talk to you. I will take your leave now. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Now I need to know more about JY's home environment. Aunt Bella said she was at home today. Maybe she could help me connect the dots. Hello Aunt Bella. Hello Samir. Come on in. Have a seat. Where's Jay? Isn't he home? Jay hardly lives here. On some days he spends the night, but the next morning he disappears without even talking to us. Aunt Bella. Please don't worry. I know, somewhere inside, our old Jay is still out there and we will bring him back. Was there any incident of quarrel or harsh treatment? You know, sometimes it happens between parents and children. Not at all. In fact we didn't even have enough time to talk. Quarrels happened sometimes between me and your uncle. But never with Jay. I see. Okay Atabella. I will take leave now. Don't worry. We will bring Jay back. I hope we get back him, before it is too late. Aunt Bella too is very sad. What can be done? I hope everything works out well. A long and tiring day. Need to take a good night's sleep. Who is there, at this hour? Jay. What a surprise. At this hour of night? Is everything alright? I am so sorry Samir. 
I can't even look at your eyes, for the rude behavior I did. Don't worry about that. It happens. Come on in. Sit down please. J. Believe me, I didn't mind at all. So please don't feel sorry for yourself. I don't know what I am doing or why I am doing it. These days, I feel so lonely, so much depressed. As if I am all alone in this world. I don't even know where to go, whom to talk to. I have tried talking with my parents. But they are too busy with their own lives. They don't have time for me. It is not so brother. Sometimes they seem indifferent, but they love their children more than anything in this world. Maybe. But I think sometimes it is very necessary to show that love. Yes, of course it is. But then again, we are all imperfect beings. Aren't we? But, to walk on the path of perfection is the true beauty. I try to impress my parents with my grades in the school. They outwardly showed interest too. But deep inside I knew that it was all a sort of artificial expression. I was alone, couldn't mix freely with my classmates. So, after admission into college, I made up my mind that whatever it may be, I will make my own circle of friends. I had many friends. I had my own study group too. Gradually I found a newfound fun, a newfound life. I thought the life was making a sense at last. I started drinking, a lot. I took drugs. And then it all vanished. And my hallucinations started. Hallucinations? Why didn't you tell your parents about it? I have no idea. I am not even sure what to do. I am finished. My life is gone. Not at all. Instead it has started again. You have evolved into a better person, you will evolve into a better person, more caring, understanding to others. That's the aim of your life from now onwards. All the other things can end in a certain time. Everything material has a validity they say. But your spirit is free. Free from all the sins, all the vices and so full of life. I do not understand spirituality. And frankly, I have no intentions whatsoever to understand it now. All I care about is my own life. I have googled my symptoms. The intensity of hallucinations is indicating some fatal form of depression. I am scared Samir. Please save me. Don't worry. I promise you will be fine. I have a friend who is a well-known psychiatrist. He will cure you in no time. Also, my guru Sri Sri Thakur has a very potent and fruitful treatment for depression. If you want, you may follow it. It would hasten your cure for sure. I will follow it of course. Tell me what to do. I am ready to follow your guru if he can save me from this. Not now. Sri Sri Thakur makes it compulsory that no one should make him a guru and be devotees in hope of something else. Also, initiation is a voluntary process. To be taken when you are more stable mentally, otherwise, it would look like I am taking advantage of your condition. Fair enough. But at least tell me the basics. How does Sri Sri Thakur cure depression? It's quite simple actually. Thakur says that all of us have an innate life urge or existential force. The more the life urge in a person, the more lively he is, the more healthy and more energetic. That makes sense. Continue please. This life force increases or decreases, based upon the events we face and how we respond to them. Excessive stress, disease depression may decrease life force. Conversely, decreased life force may also cause those things. Very logical indeed. So how can I increase my life force? Did Sri Sri Thakur say anything about it? Indeed. The basic thing which we need is to be concentric. That would increase our life force. Concentric? I don't understand. Concentric means to be attached or liger towards an ideal. Ideal is a man, a man in flesh and blood, observing whose go of life. We rectify our faults and walk on the path of perfection. This is beyond the argument of theism and atheism. This is the question of the very existence. So, how does one become concentric? First step is initiation. A process through which efficacy at various planes can be increased manifold. Then there is meditation upon the holy name. This is a process in which our brains become positively wired and also it protects us from all kinds of negativities. There is also, voluntary oblation for the ideal. All those things can be done after initiation. There is something however, that you may do right now. And that, would be the first step towards your cure. What is it? Make peace with your parents. Let's go to your home.
So, are you ready for your journey to a new life? Hell, yeah.